I want one of them hoochies over there. Man, look, do I believe in God? Yeah, I guess I do. How else can you have a sun, the moon, and stars like that? Either they don't know, don't show, don't care about what's going on in the hood. The early 90s saw our screens being graced by some amazing actors and subsequently amazing programs or movies like Boys and the Hood. The streets of South Central Los Angeles were brought vividly to life on the big screen, unveiling raw narratives that resonated globally. In South Central LA, Yo, Benita, let's do the local thing. it's tough to beat the streets. What am I supposed to do? Food roll up, try to smoke me. Among the talents that emerged during this era was a young actor named Dedrick D. Gobert, a promising star whose life mirrored the gritty realities depicted in the films he graced. Just in case you forgot, allow me to jog your memory. Something like that. I want one of them hoochies over there. Took you full No with the And you? Dedrick's journey marked by a promising start and a tragic end, intertwines the realms of art and reality, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of Hollywood history. The actor was born in Shreveport, Louisiana, on November 25, 1971. His early life was characterized by a vibrant personality, a penchant for making people laugh, and a budding friendship with a notable filmmaker, the one and only legendary John Singleton. This friendship would soon open doors to a world of opportunities, catapulting Dedrick into the limelight as he embarked on a promising acting career. During the better part of early 90s, Dedrick became a familiar face in the Singleton cinematic universe, gracing the screens in roles that resonated with audiences across the globe. His portrayal of Dookie in the critically acclaimed movie Boys in the Hood became a cultural phenomenon igniting trends and leaving a lasting impact on the film industry. But as Daedric's star was on the rise, so were the challenges that came with life in the spotlight. The actor's portrayal of Dookie is best remembered for his iconic pacifier, a trend he ignited, which became popular among teenagers and young adults during that time. His character used a pacifier throughout the whole movie, a habit Daedric adopted in real life in an effort to quit smoking. This unique trait caught the attention of the late writer and director John Singleton, who decided to incorporate it into the film, adding a layer of authenticity to the actor's character. However, his journey was tragically cut short, echoing the narratives depicted in the movies he was a part of. His life, marked by promise, talent, and tragedy, is a testament to the thin lines separating art from reality. Anyone old enough in the early 90s would tell you that the film industry was on the cusp of a revolution, with narratives that delved deep into the realities of life in urban America. Daedric found himself at the heart of this transformation, portraying characters that resonated with many. His journey in the film industry began with a role that would become iconic, a role that mirrored the realities of many young men in South Central Los Angeles. His portrayal of Dookie in Boys and the Hood, as earlier mentioned, was not just a role. It was a reflection of the times. The character became synonymous with a trend that swept the nation, the use of a pacifier, a symbol that became popular among teenagers and young adults during the early 90s. This trend, attributed to Daedric's authentic portrayal, showcased the blend of innocence and harsh realities that defined that era. The then up-and-coming actor's collaboration with Singleton didn't end with Boys and the Hood. He went on to star in Poetic Justice, a film that explored the intricacies of love and loss, alongside stars like Janet Jackson and Tupac Shakur. His role, although small, left a mark 
showcasing his ability to bring depth and realism to the characters he portrayed. Throughout Daedric's journey, his admirers witnessed a young man at the pinnacle of his career, a beacon of talent and authenticity in a changing film landscape. His roles were not just characters on a screen, but a testament to a life lived in the vibrant yet tumultuous streets of L.A. Then all over a sudden, hell broke loose. In the middle of his promising career, Daedric's life was tragically cut short a narrative that unfortunately mirrored the lives of many young men in the urban landscapes depicted in the films he starred in. On the fateful night of November 19, 1994, the actor, alongside his friend Ignacio Hernandez and girlfriend Jenny Hyon, found themselves in the adrenaline-fueled atmosphere of an illegal street race in Mira Loma, California. That night took a dark turn when an altercation erupted, pulling Daedric and Hernandez into a confrontation that would have fatal consequences. As tensions escalated, the situation spiraled out of control, leaving both young men dead victims of a senseless act of violence that echoed the very narratives depicted in the films Gobert was a part of. The events of that night were not just a personal tragedy but a loss for the film industry, which had found in Dedrick a young actor capable of bringing authenticity and depth to the roles he portrayed. His death marked the abrupt end of a career that promised so much more, a life that mirrored the tragic narratives of the characters he brought to life on screen. On that fateful night, the young actor was not alone. He was accompanied by his girlfriend, Jenny Hyon, who was just 16 at the time, and his friend, 19-year-old Ignacio Hernandez. They were among a group of others who had congregated in the area of Etiwanda Avenue in Mira Loma, California, ready to witness the high-speed races that were about to unfold. Both Dedrick and Hernandez were participants, with the actor driving his Volkswagen Rabbit and Hernandez in a Honda del Sol. As you expect of such illegal gatherings, as the night progressed, tensions escalated. During one of the races, a vehicle abruptly pulled in front of Hernandez, forcing him to brake sharply to avoid a collision. It is this incident that ignited a heated argument between Hernandez and the other driver, quickly spiraling into a physical altercation. The situation worsened when the other driver rallied a group of about 10 people who surrounded Hernandez, and then a big fight broke out. Sadly, the promising young actor lost his life in the melee. In the wake of Dedrick's untimely death, a cloud of sorrow and loss hung heavily over the acting community. The vibrant young actor, who had brought joy and laughter to those around him, was suddenly gone, leaving a void that seemed impossible to fill. The shock and grief were palpable, not only among his family and friends, but also within the broader community that had embraced him as one of their rising stars. The investigation into the tragic events of that night revealed a complex web of tensions and rivalries that had culminated in the fatal confrontation. Authorities were in pursuit of the people responsible, a search that would eventually lead to the arrest and conviction of those involved. The justice system moved swiftly, aiming to bring closure to a case that had shaken the community to its core. As the legal proceedings unfolded, the media spotlight intensified, casting a glaring light on the harsh realities of life in urban America, where young lives are too often cut short by violence. The case served as a grim reminder of the thin line that separates the narratives depicted in films like Boys and the Hood, from the real-life tragedies that unfold on the streets of cities across the country. Dedrick's spirit continues to live on through the memorable roles he portrayed and the impact he had on those who knew him. Following the tragedy, the actor's legacy began to crystallize, transcending the circumstances of his untimely demise. His portrayal of Dookie in Boys in the Hood had left an indelible mark, a character that resonated with audiences for its authenticity and depth. Beyond the screen, Dedrick was remembered as a vibrant young man with a promising future, a life tragically cut short, yet not defined by its tragic end.
In the years that followed, the actor's mother Carolyn became a beacon of strength and resilience, keeping her son's memory alive through heartfelt tributes and efforts to prevent similar tragedies from occurring. She painted a picture of a young man who was much more than the roles he portrayed on screen, a person who brought joy and laughter to those around him. The film industry also felt the loss deeply. John Singleton, the director who had given Dedrick his start, spoke of the young actor's potential and the void left by his passing. Singleton's films, which often depicted the harsh realities of life in urban America, had lost one of their brightest stars, a young man who gave everything to execute his roles. Dedrick's story serves as a powerful reminder of the urgent need to address the underlying issues that fuel violence and strife in communities across the world. Through his work and the memories shared by those who knew him, Daedric's spirit continues to inspire, urging everyone to envision a world where young lives are not cut short by violence, a world where potential is realized and dreams are fulfilled. In the end, in the aftermath of the actor's death, his community came together to mourn, remember, and seek justice. But beyond the tears and the heartache, there lies a deeper truth, a call to action that resonates with each of us, a call to stand united, to work towards a future where the streets are safe and where every individual has the opportunity to reach their full potential. As the world continues to reflect on the life and legacy of Dedrick Gobert, Everyone is reminded of the fragility of life, of the precious moments that we share with those we love, and of the responsibility that we each have to make the world a better place. Through his life and work, Dedrick showed us the power of perseverance, the beauty of friendship, and the boundless potential within each of us. And that's it from us today. Until next time, thank you for watching.